What's up guys? This is Interviewing New Yorkers episode 18. Make a long story short, Angela, she saw this Uber pull up. Unbeknownst to her, the Uber was actually for another couple. The couple saw that she was drunk and actually told the Uber driver, it's okay, you can you can drop her off wherever she needs. He refused. What followed after that was an exchange of slurs, pushes back and forth, cops being called. Eventually, she finds her way into the car. She starts to pretty much ransack everything inside, throwing everything out of the window. Stuff was being thrown at other cars. Sure enough, a whole bunch of information just this morning starts to surface on the internet her Instagram her LinkedIn her Facebook her medical license number all of her all of her like vital information starts surfacing people on Facebook are currently demanding that her position be revoked at the University of Miami Hospital but right now I'm heading to Union Square to interview on it get some responses see what people think about it You're George, yeah. and this is Furman. Furman, where are you guys from? I'm originally Southern California. And New Jersey. Do you live here? Or? Yeah. yeah, I live here. Okay, sweet. She was out in town, and I guess this is a shopping center in Miami, in Florida. Uh -huh. And she, she was pretty drunk. Yeah. So what happened is this Uber came for the couple that's recording. So the people recording, they initially were waiting for the Uber. She, but she got into it instead, and the driver is refusing to drive her. And this is her response. <laughs> You're gonna hit her? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Does 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 it get like worse than this? I think she got upset that he did push her. Well, yeah, that was really, that was messed up. Get the Getting a little serious. No. <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, it's pretty bad. The issue I have with this video is that everyone's just filming her and no one's doing anything. So. What, what, what do you think should have been done? I mean, I think they should have stopped filming the entire thing and somebody should have taken this girl away and let the guy drive off. Once the guy pushed her, something should have been done, honestly. So. I think that inexcusable that he would <coughs> touch her and put his hands on her. Right. But, and I get why she's mad, but she is going to get herself in trouble, I think, by touching all his property now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it seems like she's just a bitch. This went viral last night on Reddit. You know Reddit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It went viral. People started, you know, upvoting, whatever. This morning, it actually, the, the page got taken down because people started putting her personal information on there. So she, it turns out she actually is a doctor. She's a neurologist for University of Miami. Yeah. Her license is online, Instagram, oh Facebook. Yeah. Now Reddit is predominantly guys, like 80% or something. So all the guys are now, oh, if this was a... A guy, they, you know, thrown the slammer, jailed, and yeah. she walked away, the cops came, they arrested her, but then she gave him the driver some money, yeah. and I think they just let her go. Yeah. That's the backstory. Yeah, okay. As far as it being real or not, I think it's real. I don't think university... It didn't look, it didn't look fake. But... It didn't look no, fake? It didn't look fake. No, no, no. It looked real. Yeah. Definitely. Why do you think it's real? I just think it's quite violent, it's quite out there, for it to be yeah, fake. Yeah, I think it was pretty uh, convincing. Yeah, I don't uh, think you could put that on. I honestly it just... It's really tough to act that drunk. You could smell that alcohol yeah, in the video. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Right. <laughs> Do you think it makes a difference if she was a woman and whatever happened in the video, like... 
It's hard because we're from Scotland, so I don't know if it makes a difference. Shouldn't make a difference. I'm not, I'm not past comment. No, I'm, it's... I'm not past comment. Um, it's hard. To I think once you step over a certain line, I think... Well, yeah. Well done. I don't think he, he assaulted her uh, hugely aggressively. I think he was, <laughs> it was more of a defensive action. He took a defensive action? So, you know, it wasn't the worst thing I've seen, but would I do it? No, but... You would have ha handled her differently? I would have done it, but yeah. Does it make a difference that she was a woman? And two, should she lose her job now? No, no one no. No. I don't think she deserves to get fired from her job. Yeah, she's probably ashamed, it's probably enough. The fact that this happened already is enough? Yeah. She should probably not get her license revoked, maybe suspended for like suspended. a month or two. Yeah. But I mean, like, she shouldn't lose her job. I mean, like, we all like Sakes, I guess. Sure. There should also be more laws surrounding something like this. Yeah. Or more like, like, because this is something that I feel like we've like glossed over for a really long time. Yeah. Or if this was a guy, what do you think would have happened? The same thing. I mean, I think that it was a bad situation that they were both in, and she should have gotten in trouble. He shouldn't have pushed her. They should have both gotten in trouble. I think. It makes me a little sad. She was so drunk on camera, but I don't know. If it makes me feel. Any what do you think about the fact that people are now demanding that she be fired and now they're equating her possible behavior with the patients to if she lost her patience with this Uber driver? No, she was clearly she doesn't probably even remember what happened. I don't it doesn't look like it, but I mean, I don't know her personally, so I can't say. Right. What do you think should should be the actions of the University of Miami now? Maybe they should look at her past and see if she's ever this is like a reoccurring thing or if it just happened once. I'm I don't know. Oh, so they should just kind of just see if it's her background with the patients, maybe? Just rude with the patients, or...? I don't know. I mean, clearly she's violent, but I don't know if it's because she was drunk or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know. Being a doctor, you would think... I don't know. I don't want to hold anybody to a higher standard. Sure. Being a doctor... <laughs> being a, That's what makes it so surprising, yeah. the fact that she's a neurologist. Right. Do you think it's a, it makes a difference that she was a woman and how it was handled? Uh, it's surprising to see like a smaller woman get that crazy, I guess. Yeah, that's true. I don't think that's gonna, I don't think it changes the, the circumstances. Why not? Oh, I don't know. It just doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to yeah, you? Yeah, it's not something I would notice, you know, oh, it's a woman, not a man. Okay. For, you know, maybe there's room, a little more room for aggression if it was a man on the part of the Uber driver, but... Just because of physical presence. Right. I mean, if it's a woman, you know, there's going to be less, like, backlash. Less backlash? Yeah. Social or physical? Physical. Physical. Yeah. Socially? Socially, maybe a little more. Okay. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I didn't think about that. What kind of social response do you think there should be? It might just be a little harsher. I don't know. For a guy, it'll be harsher than No, a no. Since she's a woman, it might be a harsher response. Really? I think socially, yeah. For who? For her or for the guy? For her? What did the guy do? Okay, yeah. what kind of response do you think? Why would it be harsher? Well, I don't know. You kind of put the point in my head. I, I just kind of imagine that, uh, you know, potentially happening. Really? Where the physical part is, like, if a guy had done that, he's going to get his ass kicked. She gets that's exactly it. it. She gets away with it. Right, that's exactly Why wouldn't he let her in the car to begin with, though? Well, what was the problem? Like, maybe too abrasive or something? What do you mean abrasive? Like, if she was drunk from the get-go, maybe he didn't want to take her home because she was really drunk, but I really doubt that was the case. Social response, I think you're going to have a lot more aggressive males where you can't beat the shit out of a woman, but you can get behind your keyboard and write whatever you want and then <laughs> attack her. That's exactly it. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on on Reddit. Not to mention it is pretty male-dominated community. For sure. And I, I was surprised not to see women commentators at all on the video. Right. And so to me, it kind of made this re question, what are these guys really getting upset about? Right. And two, is there something that a woman can say that's valid where maybe she, there is some kind of punishment? Because what's going on right now is a lot of people are just equating her behavior to how she could be as a doctor or... They're, See, they're, they're totally equating this to the university's image. Yeah, that's bullshit. Let the, let the company decide that, not a bunch of vigilante dudes on Reddit. If there's a pattern of this behavior, the company, you know, it's a big hospital, they should know that she's going to get fired anyway. But you think she's going to get fired? If there's a pa I mean, yeah, if this blows up more, of course she will. Do I think she deserves it for this one thing? No. Regardless, regardless of sex, like, you shouldn't treat people a certain way. Sure. You know. 
Whether or not women get lighter treatment in situations like that, maybe. I can't say for sure. I think it's interesting only guys commented. I didn't see a lot of woman responses, and I was a little bit surprised that women weren't standing up or saying something that should have been done or, or what was going on or even in defense of her. I'm also kind of surprised no one bothered to step in. I mean, she's a little girl and he's just one Uber driver. I mean, someone could have easily broken that up before it got more out of hand. If you look across the street, there's actually a cop car parked right there. <laughs> do you think it makes a difference that she's a woman? Yes. What kind of difference do you think I mean, it makes? I mean, I think that you'd be more afraid of, of a man in this situation, like, causing harm. So, like, I feel like the Uber driver would have pressed charges or the people, like, the bystanders would have pressed charges. I feel like it'd be equally as bad as if it were a woman or a man. I mean, like, that one, like, a few months ago, that guy who's, like, attacking the cab driver from, like, behind, it's, like, that's just, like, as equally as bad. Right. You're, like, you're not supposed to, like, do violence. So you're familiar with that Uber video? Yeah. Of yeah. The, the guy the who, guy. Like, in the cab and then, like, just, like... The Taco Bell you. guy, yeah. yeah. The Taco Bell guy. He, like starts attacking the guy. It's like, yeah. just as equally as bad like to be attacking your Uber. Right, right. So it shouldn't make a difference. I know it like for people it does, it's like, oh, like she wouldn't like have been able to do as much, but I mean still violence is violence. That was that didn't seem like the Uber driver did anything to you know, egg that guy on. It kinda of seemed like that was that guy's fault. Do you think it makes a difference that she was a woman? I don't think it makes a difference whether you're a woman or a man. Like, I think exactly what gender equality is about. You know, right. like, tolerance should be equal from both genders. I think the fact that she's just a human being should make her be tolerant of others. It does not do, like, a whole show. It doesn't matter whether you're a woman or a man. He, when he called the cops, you heard that he said, yes, I have bruises. Now, we can't really look. At yeah, this. I can't. Yeah. You don't think he was probably really hit that hard by her. Mm -hmm. So you can't really give her a misdemeanor because of that, you think? No, I don't think so. Do you I think mean, if a woman hit a cop like that, something would have happened? Yeah, for sure. If she'd actually hit the cop? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Then why, why do you think it should be different with the Uber driver? I don't think it should be different. I think it is different. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. It is uh, different, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's assaulting a police officer versus misdemeanor. Yeah. It probably wouldn't be a misdemeanor, it would be something else, I don't know. Sure, yeah, right, probably. I think if it was a cop and she tried to get a cop, then it'd be less forgetful. I gotcha. I appreciate it, man. And you remember Trey? Trey, yeah. Trey, thanks so much, man.